Hello there, my beautiful pebbles. My name is Berg Feisenberg, and it's fun time. You remember that? La okay, of course you do. You remember? You can't get it out of your head. That last fanfic. Well, I asked Brian to make another one because you loved it so much, and I really enjoyed it. Um. Yeah. So he made another one, and he told me it is not unbelievable, obscure, sexual stuff. So, uh, let's hop on board. The title is... How's it going? Pebbles. It's a regular s Sunday. Feisenberg just woke up and stared at the ceiling. He thought, what a life. I have amazing fans. I make gaming videos and enjoy it. It's just great. He got up and was prepar preparing himself to take a shower when suddenly a wild, po a wild police box appeared in the middle of his room. What the fuck is that? He dropped his clothes and shampoo, which he had in his room for some opinion, so for some reason, and pinches himself in his arm to see if he wasn't dreaming. Just when he puts his pants and shirt on, the doors of the police box suddenly opens. He couldn't believe his eyes. He yells at, he yells at himself, WAKE UP! THIS CAN'T BE REAL! JUST WAKE UP! NO WAY THIS CAN'T BE! The person who came out of the police box grabs him by his shoulder and says, Ha ha, how's it going, bro? This is the point where Feisen faints. He wakes up in the police box and can't believe his eyes. PewDiePie, the one and only Pewds, was handling some spaceship, but it couldn't be a spaceship. He saw it with his own eyes. This was just a police box. Ha, what? Why? What am I doing here? Asked Feisen to Pewds. Well, it wasn't supposed to be happening, there was a scratch in the time vortex, and my TARDIS went off and suddenly appeared in your room. TARDIS, time and relevant dimension in space. I have no idea why it did that, but once you've seen this, I had to take you with me, I'm sorry. I'll drop you off when I'm done with my mission, Pewds reply. What mission? asked Feisen. Well... I got a message on my psychic paper telling me to go to the coordinations. Pewds shows Feisen the monitor. It wasn't clear for Feisen what was on the monitor, but he believed him. Feisen started looking around. How can it be so big on the outside but small on the outside? Well, I can't explain that to you, but it would take too long and your brain would explode from the information and we don't want that. It makes too much of a mess. We're almost there, so if I were you... I would stop talking and get yourself ready to go to that door, take a first to the left, then a third to the right, turn around, press the fourth button, step into that room, and you'll find a bathroom. Just like when I'm asking some Italian guy and I don't even get it. Uh, Feisen replies. Explain that again, but this time slowly. When finally Feisenberg arrives at the bathroom, he was too afraid to do a thing. My thing. There were so many buttons and he couldn't figure out which one was used to turn on the water. You need to push the button far to the right. It will be put itself to a temperature you like. It's advanced technology. So it came from the intercom. Well, thanks, Feisenberg thinks. When Feisenberg finally got back to the main room, Pewds asked him, Did you ever want to go to another planet? Well, no, because I'm afraid of heights and I can't handle other beings, I think, Feisen replies. Too bad, boy, because we're here. Welcome to the planet of the two guards. Pewd says when he opens the doors. Feisen couldn't believe his eyes. He saw all kind of strange beings, small, big, round, square beings, all different. But they all had three eyes. Why are they called two guards? Feisen asked. One of the two guards that walked by replied, Wow, well, that's an interesting story, but I see that you are human, so you wouldn't understand our beliefs. Y Y you can understand me? Feisen says. Yes, I can. Damn, these earflings are getting more and more stupid. The two guard replies when he walks off. Yeah, sorry. F forgot to mention that the TARDIS automatically translates every language in this universe, Pewd says. That's so cool, Feisen replies. Well, why are we here? Pewd responds. Well, you see that building over there? That's the justice building of the universe. We're now in the year 4,119. That building is built in the year 4,000. That building is the police office of the universe that controls everything. 
So what are you saying is that we are uh, one of the safest planets of the universe, and that is where they decide if you are a criminal or not? Faison asks. Well, yeah, Pewitz replies. But I got a message that someone broke in, and it's now ru- running the universe and handling it like he or she wants. No way! We need to stop it, Faison replies. Well, it isn't that easy as you would think, Faison. That is one of the most secure buildings in the universe. I don't know how it got in, but we need to find the same way it got in and get it in ourselves. How are we going to do that? Faison asks. Whoa, wait a second. I need to do this, but you are going back to the TARDIS and you are going to wait until I get back. Pewd says. <laughs> Damn you, kitty. Uh, Pewd says. No way you are the one that took me here, so you take me with you if you like it or not, Faison replies. Well, it looks like I have no choice. Well, fine. Come along, that we have no time to lose. Pewd started running through streets and took a couple of streets left and then right. What is this first thing we do? Faison asks when he finally catches up with Pewd. Well, I need to find the person who sent me the message on the psychic paper, and I think I know where she might be, Pewd says. Oh, so there's a she involved? Faison asks. Mind your business, mo- mind your own business, if you know what's good for you, Pewd replies. Suddenly, they are surrounded by strange men with head like octopus. The one who is right in front of them yells at uh, his men. Don't let any of those two escape. The blonde one needs to live. The Empress wants to speak to him. You can kill the other one. Will be continued. Kitty, now! Holy fuck, Brian. You've done it again. Well, Pebbles, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're not one of my beautiful Pebbles, be sure to subscribe and get the second part of this amazing fanfic by Brian. About PewDiePie and Faisen. Get in now! Kitties.